Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss register transfer language. But before discussing register transfer language, let us understand the term register. Now you are aware about the term register as you have studied in digital electronics subject. What is register? Basically, register is a collection of individual flip-flops connected in numbers to form different size of registers. In our computer organization, registers are denoted by means of capital letters. For example, register R, as you can see, it is represented by means of R1. So capital R and the numbering. So you can give the numbers and numbers. So R1. Same way, we can have more than one register into our system like memory address register, program counter, instruction register and processor register which we denoted by means of R1, R2 or it can be any. But they need to be mentioned in terms of capital letters. Now let us see the arrangement of these registers. Now as you can see this register you are seeing is as a whole. But it can be divided into form of bits also. It can be divided into various parts also. Let us see one by one. Over here you can see this is a 8 bit register starting from numbering right to left 0 to 7. Showing each bit of the register. So as you can count it is 8 bit register. Now same way this register can also be denoted in form of R2 as you had seen but we can denote the numbers instead of showing them individually you can simply note down the numbers from right to left that is 0 to 15 so over here you can see that the size of the register is of 16 bits so 0 to 15 now this register can also be divided into two parts that means higher order register and lower order register now moving from right to left you can see that this PC register is divided into two parts that is 0 to 7 bits that is PC lower L L stands for lower so PC lower and 8 to 15 bits so it is PC higher that means this program counter can be used in two parts higher order bits and lower order bits this is how the organization of registers is there in our computer organization. So during the register transfer language, we can represent these registers in various ways like this. So now let us move further. For defining register transfer language, we need to define micro operation. What is micro operation? But before discussing micro operation, what is operation? Now in our programming language like C language or C++ when we perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, we simply write C is equals to A plus B. Now in that what is operation actually? There are two operations in it, plus and equals to. So that means plus is an arithmetic operation and equals to is an assignment operation. But for doing the operations at register, trans, register level, we define them to be micro operations. So the operations executed on the data stored in register is called micro operation. So micro operation can also be termed as elementary operation, means it is a very basic operation. Now we can say C is equals to A plus B in C language is an operation. So behind that operation plus what is getting occurred is a micro operation. So it is an elementary operation. So the micro operations are performed on registers and the results which are generated after performing this operation are also stored in the register itself. So the result of the operation may replace the previous behavior or may store the new result over the previous result. So this is how the micro operations are carried out. Let us see an example. Now we can have more than one examples also. We are having various micro operations like shift, count, clear, add, etc. So now we are on the verge of defining register transfer language. Now what is register transfer language? The symbolic notation used to describe the micro operation transfers. As it is a definition, the symbolic notation used to describe the micro operation transfers among the register is called register transfer language. That means it is a language of representing the transfer of data from one register to another register. So the symbolic notations are described so that the language we are defining for the sake of theory. That means this is the register transfer language. Now the third term register transfer as you can see register transfer in that the word register that means it is a hardware part. So we require some hardware circuitry which performs this operation and we can get the desired output from the 
stated micro operations. So register transfer implies that the availability of hardware logic circuits that can perform a stated micro operation and that transfers the result into the desired register. So this is what is register transfer language. And again as it has been said that it is a symbolic notation. So it forms a sequence of operation that means while performing C is equals to A plus B there are many operations carried out behind the scene. So those micro operations will be performed loading the data from memory putting them in some processor register again loading the new data and adding the, res uh, adding the data to the processor register and storing back the result. So there are many such background operations of micro operations carried out. So that is what we are going to represent presented by means of register transfer language. So let us see register transfer. Now information transfers from one register to another register is designated by means of symbolic form. So how to represent it? Let us see one example and this R2 arrow R1 means what the content of R1 is transferred to the content of R2 register and it is denoted by an operator named as replacement operator. As you can see I had told that the content of R1 register is transferred to R2 register. That means the previous content of R2 would be overrided by the new content of R1. But that doesn't mean the content of R1 would be deleted. It will remain as it is. So the register transfer from one register to another register is designated by symbolic form by means of a replacement operator. So it is termed as register transfer. So it denotes a transfer from re register R1 into register R2. Let us see an example. We are having a 4 bit R1 register containing 1101 and we want to transfer it to our R2 register. So it will be performing bit by bit. So the, the data is transferred from register R1. Bits are getting transferred as you can see. So now R2 contains 1101. So previously R2 may contain whatever but now after performing this operation R2 will contain 11. Zero 01. So this is how the register transfer will take place and the important notation in this is this operator arrow operator or it is also termed as replacement operator and you need to remember that the content or the or data would be transferred from right hand side register to the left hand side register. It is from right to left so R1 the content of R1 would be transferred to R2. Now this was a normal register operation but this will not perform without any condition. So if I want to transfer the data from one register to another register it will not perform without any type of condition. So we need to put some control because we know that our control unit there is present into our computer. So that control unit will transfer some signal to the register to perform the load operation or we can say the transfer operation. So that is what we are saying that register transfer using control function. So normally we want transfer to occur only when predetermined condition is defined that means if then as I told controlling so if then if p is equals to 1 then on and only then transfer the content of r1 to r2. So this is if p equals to 1 is a predefined condition otherwise the operation will not take place. So let us see what is control function. Now this control function is a boolean function whose value would be either 0 or 1. Now this value would be obtained from the control unit. Control unit will send the signal to this function and based on the value of this boolean variable or function p based on that the, if it is 0 transfer will not occur if it is 1 transfer will occur. So this is denoted by means of p colon r2 arrow r1 that means when p is 1 as you can see when p is 1 content of r1 will be transferred to r2. So as I told you that means without without control unit it will not happen. So let us say we are having some control circuit. Now when this control circuit will send the signal P 
p that means p means 1 it is default to be considered the value to be 1 so control circuit will send value of p to be 1 and this one is connected to the load input of the register r2 and that means when the load would be enabled for r2 the content of r1 will be transferred to r2 now let's see this thing in the form of waveform so we are having some clock this r2 is working on clock so this is our the waveforms for our clock as you can see and we need to have load signal now when load will run transfer will occur so initially it is zero so load signal is zero that means p we are getting zero so load will be zero now immediately once we get at time t we get some hikes we get some high signal on load so p has become one so now it will remain one till t plus one and once the clock is t plus one this load signal would become zero and during this time when this time t plus one will occur when the signal is going low at that time the transfer will occur this is what is to be remembered very carefully the transfer will occur only when the signal goes low it will not occur when signal goes high so at the end of this clock sig a clock pulse the transfer will take place so this is what is register transfer with control function that means register will perform its transfer operation only on some condition and that condition we are terming it to be control function